Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Kaito Got Time Lupin Kaiser from Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger versus Keisa Sentai Pat Ranger. Um, this is the mecha that belongs to the Lupin Ranger. Um, so yeah, um, there are many ways you could have bought this. Um, Excuse me, I just finished eating. Uh, the set that I purchased was all three of these with the good strike, the good striker. Now you can obviously get the red dial fighter from buying this if you bought the Lupin Ranger version of it, um, and then but you can also purchase this by itself and purchase these two by themselves as well as good striker or. You can just get it all in a set. So, I decided to get it all in a set. Um, there was a campaign for this too, but the seller didn't have that, so... Whatever. Uh, we'll take a look at the box, then the three dial fighters, and good striker. And then we will get to the combinations. <coughs> so, here we have the box, right there. Picture of Lupin Kaiser right here. Let me scoot it in a little for you. Uh, with the three Lupin Rangers. On this side, we got the Dial Fighters. Red, blue, and yellow. This side, we got red, blue, yellow, and the combination. On the top, we got the three Lupin Rangers with the face of Lupin Kaiser. Bottom is gibberish. The back has pretty much everything that you're going to do with this. And excuse me a sec while I take some stuff down, because um, I tried recording this earlier. Excuse the noise in the background. I tried recording this earlier, uh, but for some reason my recording messed up and it wouldn't save it. Because while, well, while there are benefits to having this new app... Uh, there are definitely some downsides. So we'll take a look at the three, at the four versus vehicles. So let's start with, uh, let me scoot my chair in properly. Jesus. Start with the red dial fighter. Uh, much like my review of the, uh, of the VS Changer, I'm trying to adjust my seat the best I can, uh, much like my review of the VS Changer, um, it is the same one, and it is desi designed after, uh, a jet fighter, in fact, this is the exact same mold and everything. Um, it even has the little hidden face, which I will show later. Um, but yeah, done out in red, but I didn't go over the paint. Red with blue, uh, metallic blue right here. The dial, which is shaped like a top hat, that has the numbers 0 through 9 printed on it. Uh, got black and orange for the wings with the silver V Lupin Ranger logo. Logo. And of course, its gimmick is you spin the dial, and it has a little cannon inside. So pretty much the same as the one that came with the uh, changer. Here are some. Here's where things get a little bit different. Here we have the blue dial fighter belonging to Lupin Blue. This is designed after a propeller plane, although a more futuristic looking propeller plane. It does actually spin the propeller. Uh, made of PVC and painted silver. This is painted lime green for the cockpit. Uh, you get a little bit of gold for the little indicator for the numbers on the dial. Whoops. Does look like a top hat, but it isn't colored on the ring. I might just color that myself. And um, yeah, pretty nice. You also get the black and orange right here, the V. Very nice. And its gimmick is when you spin the dial. This whole section comes down and you get a little Gatling gun. Pretty nice. And then of course we get the yellow dial fighter, which is a gyroplane. Um, 
little V right there. The orange is on top of the uh, gyros and you get a metallic red cockpit with some black lines. And the dial is the same as the dial on here. Its gimmick is when you spin it, you get a little rotary saw. So we'll take a look at these in the VS Changer and in case you didn't see my review of uh, since, since there's not that many things to go over, I'll just do all three of these, technically four. So uh, let's bring in the VS Changer and we'll start with putting in the red dial fighter. down. <laughs> and of course the summoning. Excuse me. Next we'll use blue to become Lupin Blue. And summon the dial fighter. And we'll become Lupin Yellow using the yellow dial fighter. And we'll do the summoning. Now here is a very special um, versus vehicle. Next up in the lineup, we have Good Striker. Good Striker is actually a sentient Zord or Mecha, Mech, whatever you want to call it. Um, who's basically a free-spirited character. In fact, I love Goody. His nickname is Goody. Um, w right now, he is in his Lupin Ranger mode, the Dial Fighter. Uh, you can make him a trigger machine by folding up the nose and putting up the wings, and now he's a trigger machine. In fact, when we first saw him, he looked like this. But we'll just uh, take a look at him in Lupin Ranger mode. Um, this whole section is where the electronics are. The sounds come out of there. Comes with batteries, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, two watch size batteries. Um, very nice. Uh, done out in mostly black with some metallic blue for those lights right there. His face is right here. Um, kind of like those jet fighters with like those jagged looking shark-like faces. Uh, a much lighter blue canopy, some white, and red for the wings with the silver V. Now the sounds come from both the dial and the trigger, but for Lupin Ranger mode, you use the trigger. Now his sound effects, uh, depending on uh, what mode he's in in the changer, all come from down here, obviously. However, um, the pin code changes. These little two, there's these holes in the bottom, and you'll notice if I do this, what I'm doing is I'm pushing this button on the side, which would be where the wing collapses. And that's what changes it from the Lupin Ranger combination to the Pat Ranger combination. And you can't see that very well, can you? 
there. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. And um, there is a sound when you hold down the trigger for the got tie, uh, but generically, if you don't have him set to a team, <laughs> that'll happen. So let's get through to the other sounds. Now, the next sound effect is him choosing the team, and to guarantee that he'll be on Lupin Ranger's team, spin the dial again. Otherwise, wait, and he'll randomly choose a team. <laughs> so there's the Lupin Ranger sound effect. Um... And then the last sound is randomized. Between two. There it is. Now he does, of course, make sound effects in the VS Changer. He does a final attack. And, um... After 60 seconds, he'll reset, otherwise you can hit the little reset button, which I don't think I can without a pin or something. Um... Let's see, uh, yeah, let's screw it, whatever. Um, so, he makes a generic sound, um... When you don't pick a team and you put him in here, he'll say, Mada mada guto atarinaize. Um, otherwise, when he's a Lupin Ranger uh, guy. He'll say, make a game. Now we'll spin the dial. So there it is. Now pull the trigger for the Itadaki strike. So there's that. Very nice. And of course we can summon him. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I wasn't going to wait the 60 seconds, and I'm kind of rushing this, so. Let's just get to combining them. I'll try and show off that generic sound effect in the Pat, Pat Kaiser review. So, uh, let's get them all set up. Uh, first, I need to make a few adjustments. All right, I've made my few adjustments. So, we'll start by transforming Goody here. That's, um... I don't think I mentioned that. If I, in case I forget a lot, but that's his nickname. Uh, so to transform him, uh, push the canopy, extend it, fold in the nose, open the legs, and then fold the panels down. There's that. Close the wings. Fold that piece down. And pull out that peg. There, that works perfectly, actually. Now, to connect the others, turn the dial on yellow, attach it, close the, these. Um, actually, did I wait the whole time? Okay, so here's the sound effect that I was mentioning. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, that's when you put it in and he doesn't. Uh, he hasn't chosen a team. So spin the blue dial fighter, attach it, pull the wings down, there's a little hand, and uh, this is for the loop on Ranger. Uh, I keep forgetting a lot of stuff, but hey, whatever. Now fold the wings on red, a uh, halfway, put it on top, turn the dial, so the nose comes down, and then 
swing around the face. And there we have, top to bottom, Lupin Kaiser. Taking a good, taking a good look at his face, um, he's got a traditional thief face with a domino mask, and he's even wearing a top hat, so very nice. I really like the design of Lupin Kaiser out of the two Kaisers. Now, he does have a transformation sound effect. Let me switch him to Lupin Ranger mode. Hold down the trigger. Very nice. Now, posability. The arms rotate full 360, and you kind of saw uh, the arms bend and twist, so that's very nice. The legs don't have much, but what can you do? Um, although he's got a good amount of weaponry, he's got a Gatling gun in one hand, he's got a spinnable saw in the other, that's very nice. Um, in the show, what he was able, oh, and you can also cheat with the joint and kind of have his arm go inward. In the show, he also, for a finisher, made a big version of the VS Changer in its empty mode uh, appear and started shooting the crap out of bad guys like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, Lupin Kaiser is a pretty cool mecha, and I definitely suggest you pick this guy up. He is pretty cool. Um, so I will see you guys later. Take care. Yo, Goksu. Hmm?